Warriors threw some different defensive looks at them as well. Little zone tonight, and at times the Mavericks just seemed discombobulated. Steph Curry was great, 31 points, 11 assists. Andrew Wiggins had that incredible dunk and 27 points. He might be the series MVP, which is a thing now. Um, yes. <laughs> between his work offensively, and I know Doncic is getting numbers, but the way he's making him work on the other end. It is. I'm just so happy for uh, uh, Wiggins, uh, you know, because a guy that, you know, highly touted coming into this mm -hmm. league. And, you know, I, I just think he's showing some emotion. Yeah. He's never going to be a guy that talks, but it just seems like he's engaged. He's interested and on both ends. And I think Luca has brought that out of him. I think he's new. Hey, when they said the series started, they were watching him play against Phoenix. I know Steve Curry said you you are getting that excitement. I, I bet he started ramping up saying, oh, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. want to be embarrassed. And yeah. you said it best, Matt. People might look at the numbers. He's destroying Andrew Wiggins. He's making, because he's very good, but I think Wiggins yeah. is making him work, yeah. work, work. And at the end, the Warriors are getting wins. And to Matt's point also, they threw a box and won. Yeah. They're throwing a different defense. I like what Steve Kerr is doing. He's just throwing everything in the kitchen sink at Luka Doncic. And against this team, mm -hmm. why wouldn't you? Why yeah. not throw a box yeah. and one at him? The way their offense is, is revolves so much around what Luca does. Yeah, and, and I I thought you know I go back I go back to the Wiggins point. You know, with with Steph Curry, Clay, and Draymond being such fun, enjoyable guys, I think that's brought a different type of personality out of Wiggins too, mm -hmm. because he's around guys who he they have fun, they enjoy the game. And Wiggins is looking at them like, okay, I can, I can smile too. I can, I yep. can have a good time. And I, and I think it's, it's brought a little bit of his personality out. Well, the spotlight's not on him exclusively. He was yeah. the number one overall pick. The expectations were incredibly high. He was picked to be the face of a franchise, essentially, along with Carl Anthony Towns. It's not really his personality. It's not necessarily yeah. who he wants to be. And with the Warriors... He doesn't have to be any of that. They've already got these future Hall of Famers yeah. on the floor with him, and they will be forever known as the face of the franchise during this incredible period. I mean, you, you say he was a, a former number one pick in the draft. Now, a former number one pick in the draft, this talented, joined Steph, Clay, <laughs> yeah. and Draymond. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's, it's almost unfair. But then you go back, and, and that's kind of what the Lakers and the Celtics used to do. Like the Lakers, you know, they win the championship, then they get James Worthy. Right. Right? right. Mm -hmm. You know, the Celtics win the championship, and then they get, you know, unfortunately, you know, Lynn Bias pass. Yeah. But then they end up getting Lynn Bias number one. I mean, so what Golden State has done in terms of kind of replicating what was done in the 80s in, in terms of those two franchises, Lakers and Celtics, going out and getting number one picks to add to your championship, you know, uh, core, you know, putting Wiggins on this team, it's almost kind of unfair.